Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Apple's latest operating system, OSX Yosemite. Apple's newest operating system will be out in its final form for free this fall, but early adopters will be able to get a look at the new features through a public beta this summer. Let's take a look. The flat design, translucent panels, and lack of gradients and textures of iOS 7 can be found throughout OS X Yosemite, lending a much more modern look to the desktop operating system. App icons feature flatter design, the dock and windows of apps have sharper corners, and a new system font is meant to improve the overall readability. The famous Helvetica New Family, which lends to a thin and clean design style that Apple has been favoring lately, when Yosemite is released next fall, you'll start seeing it pretty much everywhere across the OS, from the menu bar to the app windows. App windows can also adjust their color temperature based on a user selected background, just like in iOS. There is also a new user selectable dark mode that dims the entire interface for better focusing while working. The new Today feature in Notification Center tells you everything you need to know. It gives you a concise summary of the day's upcoming events, reminders, and birthdays. It even summarizes tomorrow's events. In addition, you'll get quick access to important information with widgets like calendar, weather, stocks, world clock, calculator, reminders, and you can customize what you see by adding more widgets from the App Store. You can access the Notification Center with just a swipe. It's always available, even when you're working in full screen. Apple's universal search tool, Spotlight, has been redesigned and improved with more functionality including instant results for web searches, it's a great way for looking up information from sources like Wikipedia, Bing, news, maps, movies, and more. And it gives you richer, more interactive previews of your results. So you can read a document, send an email, or even make a phone call by clicking a result. One of the biggest changes is Apple's new iCloud Drive service, which integrates all files stored in a user's iCloud account into the Finder file browser. Users can browse their files stored in the iCloud and organize them into folders and tag them like any other type of files. Apple says that all iCloud Drive files will sync across Mac computers and even Windows PCs. MailDrop is a new feature in Apple's Mail app that lets users attach large files to emails with their iCloud accounts, bypassing the attachment size restrictions many email services have. Mail has also gained the ability to edit attached images with simple text and arrow overlays. Apple's Safari browser has undergone a significant revamp with a cleaner design, less Chrome, and better search integration. Safari's integrated share menu has been expanded with recent people you've messaged and RSS feeds, and there's a new tab view that shows thumbnails of all the open tabs. Also, Apple says that Safari now runs JavaScript code faster than any browser on the market. The theme of continuity in OS X is greatest seen in its new abilities to interact with iOS devices. AirDrop between OS X and iOS is finally supported, allowing users to transfer images and other data between their mobile devices and their desktop without using a cable. Users can now seamlessly transfer the file they're working on in their Pages document on their Mac to an iPhone or an iPad. OS X Yosemite uses location awareness, so email messages that are composed on an iPhone can instantly be continued on a Mac. Yosemite enhances iMessage to include SMS messages as well as text sent through Apple's proprietary service. You can also now send and receive phone calls from your Mac. Apple also says it plans on bringing its photo app from iOS to OS X early next year, but did not go into detail as to how it relates to the existing iPhoto application. Overall, OS 10.10 Yosemite is more of a visual refresh than a complete overhaul of the operating system. Much like iOS 7 was a refresh of iOS that didn't change how the system works in a significant way. The biggest improvement for OS 10 is the better integration and interaction with Apple's mobile devices, making it that much more beneficial for users to be completely bought into Apple's entire ecosystem. But overall, it shouldn't be that jarring of a change for most users. Anyway guys, if you liked this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.